Hello friends and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to take a look at Knob Creek Rye. Alright, so we've got a Karn Porn poured here of the Knob Creek Rye. Let's go ahead and get this bad boy on the nose. One of the things I like about this rye is that it's affordable and findable, and um, I've never tasted it. Some of these whiskeys, as you know, if you're out there looking for them, are getting a little tougher to find, but it's always nice to have something that doesn't break the bank, that you can find easily, and still tastes very nice. Let's get it on the nose here. definitely have traditional rye spices. One of the really lovely things about rye is a spiciness to it. It's also very herbaceous, if I could use that word non-pretentiously, and I don't know that that's possible. There's also a rich caramel, a very nice balance. I really like the balance of the sweetness and richness of a caramel with the spicy notes, a bit of pepper. Of course, you're gonna get the rye is forward, what you want. It's a really, really nice nose. It's not overpowering. It's smooth, balanced, quite delightful, if I may say. Kind of like me. Maybe not. Yeah, this is really, really pleasant. Well, that's enough nosing. Let's get this one on the palate, Slangevin. Spice forward. Absolutely expect that. Very full body. Good mouthfeel. Coats the mouth very nicely, but doesn't sit around and like a sugary, like a sugary candy, make it feel like you need to brush your teeth right away. The spice is forward, but there's some other things in there that are also very nice. I'm getting a vanilla, uh, maybe a brown sugar, some sweetness to balance out that that traditional rye bite, which is nice. Also on the nose, I'm getting a little bit, getting a little bit of something extra now that I've had a couple sips. I wanna call it, I wanna call it like a butter. There's like a, a mild butteriness to it. The finish is, it's peppery. Uh, you get your, that's where you get your wood if you're a fan of the, the oak or anything like that. That's where I'm starting to get the, the wood characteristic coming out is on the finish, along with some nice pepper. Actually really delightful. This is a really, really nice glass. Um, I'm a big fan already. I really like this ride. This is very nice. Um, this is the small batch Knob Creek Kentucky Straight Rye. It's uh, 100 proof, and um, I've had no trouble finding this in my local stores. I don't know about you, you where your particular area is. Everything seems to be different. I have friends that tell me that Buffalo Trace is no problem to find whatsoever, and over here you would have to sacrifice a chicken and dance in the rain. But this one is easy for me to find, and wow, is it really, really nice. This is one that I'm definitely going to have to have on the bar as a staple from now on. What a beautiful little rye. Simple, it's what you want from a rye. It's, it's not overpowering in any way. I know I keep saying that, but this balance on this rye is just really nice. It's what you expect. I'm not gonna say there's any surprises here other than the, the rich caramel that you get on the nose. That's a little surprising to me. Um, wow, fantastic. I really like this one. If you haven't got, given it a shot yet and you like yourself a rye, check out this Knob Creek Kentucky Straight. It is beautiful. Thank you for being with me today. Very um, excited for 2024 and I hope you are as well. We've got. Uh, Valentine's Day right around the corner, so do something nice for your lady. 
and I hope you have a great rest of your week. And until then, be good friends and good spirits.